nausea stress. See how when you apply force that is an a deforming force on any body, its configuration changes. Actually all solids contains large number of atoms which are bound with the help of intermolecular or molecular forces. So, as you apply external force their configuration changes it means their equilibrium gets disturbed and now there is internal force that is called restoring force develops which tries to bring the body or bring the atoms into their original position. So, the internal force that means the restoring force per unit area which, which tends to bring the body into original configuration is known as stress. So, a stress we can write here a stress is equal to restoring force per unit area. In equilibrium also you can write in equilibrium this is equal to here deforming force upon area. So, its unit is Newton per meter square that you can also say here Pascal's that is represented by here P A. So, the unit of stress is this is Pascal's and now it has the dimensional formula similar to pressure. Now, see here stress can be here of the two types which we are going to discuss in this chapter. First one is here normal stress and second one is here tangential stress. Normal stress when you apply deforming force over an area and perpendicular to that area then the stress or that force is known as force per unit area is known as normal stress. Suppose you have taken like this, this is a cross section of this wire you apply force like this and this is your force F is acting this side. This is perpendicular to this area of cross section. This force per unit area is known as normal stress. So, the normal stress is again categorized into the two parts. One is here that is called tensile stress that is also known as longitudinal stress and the example which I have just given here if you apply the force like this. So, there is increase in the length and that is known as tensile stress. Another stress you can take here the second one is compressive stress. Compressive stress suppose you have taken the cylinder like this and you apply the force here. In that case there is a decrease in the length. Another example you can take like this if you apply force from all these sides here then also there is decrease in its volume. So, this type of the force per unit area is known as compressive stress. So, all these stress have got the same unit that is Newton per meter square. So, now let us discuss in detail that is about the tangential stress. So, see here in tangential stress suppose you have got any body like this that I am taking here the cube which is fixed here this bottom portion is fixed. I am applying the force here like this tangential force is applied on the upper surface and area of this face is suppose A. So, tangential stress is equal to can be written F upon A. So, that is tangential force upon area its unit is also Newton per meter square. 